Howdy folks, John here from rchelicopterfun.com. Today we're talking solder fume extractors or smoke absorbers, whatever you want to call them. So if you've always been curious about one of these, think they might be a good idea to add to your workbench if you do a moderate amount of soldering. Uh, hopefully by the end of the video, this will give you a better idea. Now this is the FA400. And I think if anyone's familiar with these things, when you take a look at it, you'll see it's pretty much a direct copy or clone of Hakko's FA400. And it comes with the unit itself. These are really simple. They've just got a fan in them and they pull the smoke through a little carbon filter. As you see, it comes with two of these, two carbon filters. And you can run it in either this orientation upright so it draws the air in through the fan this way, or you can turn it around this way and have the air drawn through here and then out the fan this way. So we're gonna try it in both orientations, see how it works. And at the end of the video, we'll open it up just to see what uh, makes it tick. But again, there's nothing really to these things. And these are super cheap. They're about uh, 40 bucks, so about half the price of the Hakko. And right now I think at Banggood they're on sale for around 30 bucks, so you can certainly get them on sale. And I do want to thank Banggood right now for sending it, so we can have a look at it together. As usual, links will be down in the description. So we'll get the uh, soldering iron fired up here, see how well it sucks. Oh, and I thought we'd also compare it to a little, uh, my little solder fume extractor that I've been using for quite a while now. This is just a little brushless 12 volt 90 millimeter fan. I just printed. 3D printed a little base for it, but even without the base, these things stand on their own. And my thought with uh, solder fume extractors is my main concern is I'm not soldering enough that I need, you know, really good filtration. If I was, I wouldn't even waste money on something like this because when you're getting filters all the time, it's just a license to print money and you'll spend a fortune on these things. If I was soldering daily for a few hours or more and I was really concerned with fumes, I would install a dryer vent to the outside, just get one of those little four inch inline duct fans and have a flexible duct come over my work area. And that way the solder fumes would be pulled right outside, not wasting money on filters and you get all that crap out of the way. Uh, but for just the hobbyist type stuff, just getting the fumes away from your face. That's why I don't even use a filter on this thing. It just so draws the fumes and it disperses them, you know, throughout the room and they're not getting right in your schnozzola. At any rate, let's fire up the iron and see how well this sucks. So the FA400 from uh, Banggood here, you can get it in two configurations, either with the North American 120 volt plug or you can get a European or uh, Australian or wherever else 240 plug. We'll plug this in and we will open up our one of our filters here and just in case you're curious these things aren't grossly expensive. I've seen them on eBay and Amazon a six pack for about 16 15 bucks somewhere in there. Holy smokes! I don't know if you can hear that it's actually on. And there's the on and off switch at the back here, but noisy. That's quite annoying. We'll open it up. There's got to be something wrong with the motor. I'm just going to hold, hold the microphone up here. Like that's annoying. So I've just got out some flux here. That's what produces most of your soldering fumes and smoke is the flux. You don't really get any off gassing off molten lead at the low temperatures we're working at, you know, in the 400 Celsius range. And I don't know if you can see this. Let's turn it this way. It's, I don't know if I was working right here there's no way. I'm still getting fumes in my face. You know, you have to be right up to it for it to seem to work. Let's turn it upside down and use it this way. Oh, the noise is horrible. Oh, that seems to work better. 
but still you got to be right close to it. I got to tell you, I'm not overly impressed. My little $10 fan works better. No, I'm still getting tons of smoke in my face. Hardly anything. There's got to be something wrong with this fan motor. Like the fan is turning. But it's not drawing much. Okay, I'm just going to plug my little guy in. Let's turn this off. So this thing... I can either power it from a 3S LiPo or a 12 volt uh, wall wart, whatever works. Quite a bit quieter. And look at that, it's just draws it right through. So this little thing is working better than that. Like I said, I'm working right here. Now that's drawing it. If you turn it around and you're actually blowing, it'll blow the smoke right out of your face. Problem is, it's real annoying having that cold draft over your hands. It, you just can't work. At least I can't. So that's why you generally have it pulling it through. So like I said, this is what I've been using and it, as you see, the sucker just works fine. It's a good little sucker. This guy on the other hand, geez, it sounds like a diesel tractor when it starts up. Just nothing. It's hardly drawing anything. Let's open it up. There's nothing to these things. Just took out the four Phillips screws in the front. Here's the front grill that comes off. And here's the fan. And you can see it's just wired to that little switch. There's nothing to it. There's the power cord coming in. You know, the case itself, really nice, super strong. So this is really good quality. I just think I've got a dud fan here. So we'll look at the fan. Good quality. Uh, you know what? I'm going to plug it in. Let's see if we can get that thing to... Runda. Anyway, that's the part number there. We can see it's actually uh, dual voltage, AC 100 to 230. So when you get the, uh, you know, the European version or the Australian version, the only difference is the plug they wire onto it. The fan motor is the same. It's just not pulling much air. Oh, jeez. Doesn't even have a C-clip on the back. Yeah, so it's just a little four-pole brushless motor. Greased up really well. Pull the sticker off the back. I have to wonder if the little C-clip popped off. And that's why it's making all this noise. Because the fan isn't being held in there. Oh, geez. No, there's nothing back there. Yeah. I guess I'd have to take the board out. Well, I'm not going to bother. Uh, yeah, I might look online, see if I can get another, what, what size is this, uh, fan? Let's see here, it's a 120 millimeter fan. So yeah, you get a 120 millimeter brushless fan. You got to run it off. You could get a 12 volt one, whatever works for you. Soldering iron's going to sleep here. Yeah, I don't know. Thought it would be better than that. Oh, I should also point out you can get uh, you can get these stands for them to hold it up off your work area or whatnot. But geez, can't even get it to suck fumes when it's six inches away. Here's my idea. This, by the way, I just got the file off of Thingiverse. 
Uh, I'll fire a link to it below in the description. I had to go into Tinkercad though and adjust the size because I think it was for a 70 millimeter fan and like I said this was a 90. But it also printed with this little grill so you can put a carbon filter. So I just cut up the uh, filter that came with the FA400 and we'll see how this works on the little homemade jobby. Quiet. Doesn't work as good with the filter in. And I'll tell you right now, even pulling it through the carbon filter, you can still smell the fumes. You can see light through these things. Like really, do you think these are catching much smoke particulate? I don't think so. I am less than impressed with this thing. I thought it would work a lot better than my little 12 volt $10 fan. So I'm guessing there's something wrong with this fan. If anyone's got one of these FA400s, please comment below. Let me know what you think of yours or if they're all really weak like this. And honestly, whatever you use, this isn't going to filter much. It's going to collect some. But the main thing again is to get the smoke out of your face. You know, I don't care if it's dispersed out in the room. I don't do enough soldering. If it was, like I said, I'd put it outside, vent in and extract it right to the outside. Don't even waste your money on these filters. Those are my thoughts, folks. Hopefully, if you're thinking of something like this or if you wanted to build one of these, this gives you a little bit uh, more information on them. Happy soldering, happy fume suck, and all that good stuff. Cheers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.